Continuing coverage now of the breakup of a drug trafficking ring in Newburgh. Nine on your side first reported Operation 190 at the end of November, which resulted in more than a dozen arrests. That operation was named after newborn police officer Alexander Thalman, whose badge number was 190. He died in the line of duty pursuing someone related to the drug ring. Today, United States Attorney Robert J. Higdon Jr. discussed the results of the investigation at New Bern City Hall. WNCT's Courtney Allen reports. Monday afternoon, a number of senior officials from agencies involved in Operation 190 gathered at New Bern City Hall to discuss the long-term investigation targeting drug trafficking in the East. We use every tool in our arsenal to disrupt and dismantle their organization and bring them to justice. United States Attorney Robert J. Higdon Jr. says his office was after the Wilson Brown organization, led primarily by Calvin Wilson and Damian Brown. Brown essentially introduced heroin to New Bern. It exploded in the streets of New Bern. ATF agents wiretapped the defendant's phones over a three-month period in 2017, which showed drugs were being funneled from New York to New Bern. As a result of the investigation, 15 individuals have pled guilty in federal court. The investigation also produced usable evidence regarding violent crimes and murders in New Bern. Members of the organization, or at least some of them, are connected to the United Blood Nation, a large-scale gang operating in New York and all along the eastern seaboard. And this investigation has led to new information about several shootings and murders in the Newburn area. And we are working collaboratively with District Attorney Scott Thomas and his team to utilize that information in state prosecutions. Following the arrest, law enforcement is seeing a reduction in heroin availability and violent crime. The main things that I can point to uh, is the fact that we haven't had any homicides this entire year. While these people are off the streets, Hignan says authorities at the federal, state, and local level will continue to bring to justice those who threaten the safety and health of our communities. We will continue to aggressively pursue those who would try to take the places of those who are now on their way to federal prison. In New Bern, Courtney Allen, 9 on your side.